I'll be showing how in Microsoft Teams meetings, the meeting organizer can now remove an anonymously admitted person and that person can no longer rejoin the meeting. So let's open the meeting first. And as the organizer, I'm gonna go click meeting options to set up a few things. So first off, who can bypass the lobby? Only people in my organization, so anonymous people cannot bypass. I will not let them bypass the lobby and the people who can present are only me. So let's save that. Okay, now I'm gonna go start the meeting. So I'm the meeting organizer. So here I am in the meeting and I'm gonna open up the participant pane and you can see I've invited some other people. But now I'm gonna switch over and pretend I'm the anonymous person who's gonna join this meeting. Okay, here I'm the anonymous person. So I'm gonna to try to join this meeting. Now this is the anonymous join dialog. So I'm gonna put my name as John Doe and I'm gonna hit join. And now the organizer has to let me in. So we're gonna switch back to the teacher, the meeting organizer, and I'm gonna let in John Doe. Okay, I see that John Doe is waiting in the lobby right here. I'm gonna click check to let him in. Great, so now John Doe is in the meeting as an attendee. Now let's say the meeting's going on and it's like, wow, you know, John Doe, I don't really want you in this meeting. You're being annoying, you're being a jerk. I'm going to remove you. So I click the dot, dot, dot and remove participant because as the organizer, I can do that. So John Doe, I am booting you. And now John Doe is gone. Now in the past, John Doe would immediately see a rejoin button and he could just rejoin the meeting. So let's switch back to John Doe and see what happens. Look at this, John Doe, I've been removed from the meeting, but I cannot rejoin. So we just launched the feature that removes that rejoin button. So I'm out of luck.